Most people in America are familiar with the concept of angels and demons. In the Muslim faith, they use the word jinn. What I know from my own life experience of having my life almost snuffed out by an accident that my father almost caused, as well as the accident that I was in, is that I believe there are both angels of light and dark. I also firmly believe that since God in heaven, Lord God, in other words, Heavenly Father and Divine Mother are the creator of all heaven and earth and all creatures, great and small, I do believe there's some passages in the Bible and I'm not marvelous with the Quran in terms of my knowledge of it and where things are, but the reality because I've only read it once uh, in my jail time. But the reality is, what I'm saying to you is that my feeling is God created them, and that's something we hear definitely. And it's not heretic to speak in front of anyone who's Catholic or Lutheran. The truth is that most Christendom does not really teach people how to tap into the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit that we are promised in the Book of John, chapter 10 at the very least, if not without the entire uh, New Testament and some of the Old Testament. So for people who have a Bible foundation, this is who I'm speaking to. For people who don't have a Bible foundation, I still think it's a pretty good book to read. There's a lot of life lessons, there's a lot of good stories, there's a lot of good things that could be used and are used as the basis of movies today, just brought together in today's time. We certainly know that war existed. We certainly know that family rivalry happened. We certainly know that people abused people. We certainly know that there was slavery. We certainly know that we're still struggling with some of the foundational things that are in our current Bibles today in almost every version, just in the fact that the language shifts a little. The exegesis might be a little different, but in general, it's the same. So let me just say I'm not really a marvelous Bible banger, but I can tell you enough about it to make you think about whether or not you want to read it. In life, what I'm talking about in my life experience is that I have seen angels protect me in a car accident that had dark wings. I have also seen angels in a way that other people have in America and have been documented in that you see someone who just seems surreal. They seem like they almost have this kind of angel-like presence around them. The truth is that in the Bible we are taught about angel Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel, but there's a lot more that we can learn from Dr. Doreen Virtue, who sadly has gotten a little bit morphed and warped, but possibly because she's expecting the next coming, or possibly because someone has been mindful of her life and literally tried to move her back into the ancient texts of the world. Most of her books are very healthy and very good for the human heart, who is not excited about Christendom, but really wants to access their angels for a better life. There is no shame in accessing the house of God to improve your life. There is a shame if you're accessing God in order to harm a life. And that's something of which we all must be careful. And I guarantee that the FBI that does that does these investigations of atheist groups and satanic worship and all this sort of stuff that is a part of the killing and the harming of our nation, that openly they know a lot more about angels and demons than they probably let on in the X-Files or any other Marvel's TV show that deals with that. What I can say to you is that we are all afflicted, we are all assessed, we are all challenged, and we are all prom promoted in a way that we know angels best is not true. People who claim that are lying to you because everyone has this actuated and graduated scale of level of angels around them. If you're brand new in your faith, you're only going to have three or four angels because they have to constantly challenge you to get closer to God. If you're more secure in your faith like I am, I know that I have about 53 angels that are around me all the time to protect me from the constant thwarting of not only people who are practicing in Satan's house and the way that they interview and interrogate and harm people, but also the actual spirit realm that's prompting them to do that. 